Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching or welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are, hi, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, come join the fun. Okay, so I'm in a hotel in Brighton and I am literally on the seafront and it is the noisiest ever, ever, ever. There's seagulls, there are many cars all the time. So I'm so sorry if it's super loud. I'm trying my best. I've pulled all the shutters across. And I've prayed to the YouTube gods that they're going to calm down, but I'm not that hopeful. Got my cup of coffee, which, let's be honest, if it doesn't end up all the way down me at some point, it's a miracle. Oh God, that's so hot. So, today's video is going to be a frequently asked questions slash Q&A slash basically every time I've had a question on Instagram or on YouTube, then I've shoved them all together and I'm going to answer them and also just a little bit of exciting news really. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm so sorry about the cars. Stop! That was a hideous slurp. I'm so sorry. Okay, so number one. Um, congratulations on signing with Marguerite. Thank you. Um, what made you sign to them? So in case you're not aware, Cars! So yes, um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen that I have signed to Marguerite Management, which I am so, so, so excited about. Um, I've actually met with, I think, I don't know whether I've really mentioned it before, but I've met with lots of companies before and none of them have ever seemed right for me. Um, but when the guys approached me and we spoke, it was just right from the beginning, it just felt like an amazing fit and yeah there are lots of exciting things coming and i'm just very very excited to be part of a team and if you don't know who they are which i'm sure you do um margarine is founded by joe sugg and casper lee and they have some amazing people on their books so far and not many as well i think there's only about five of us which is so exciting because i feel so lucky to be a part of it but yes long story short yes i have and i'm very excited and i'm very happy what would you be doing if you weren't a blogger this is such a difficult one because before I went full time on my blog, I was a TV producer and I absolutely hated it. I worked in TV for nearly five years and I started on X Factor as a runner and I worked on X Factor, Britain's Got Talent. I worked on The Only Way is Essex. What else? I worked on Young Apprentice. I worked on a lot of shows in TV. And yeah, like any job, there was good times and bad times, but mostly not the best times so i i don't know what i would be doing because i really don't think that i would have stayed in tv for all this time because it was sometimes exciting and it was a really fast paced life so i kind of enjoyed that but it wasn't my passion and it wasn't my goal so i don't think that i would have been doing that maybe i would have been doing some sort of writing because writing has always been my biggest passion um but i definitely wouldn't have been working in tv maybe i would have tried to go into some sort of management like working with a management company for youtubers because i always always loved youtube since i was 16 i was obsessed with i loved zoe i loved fleur I love the Pixie Woo girls. I feel like they were the originals, the OGs. But yeah, I really don't know what I would have been doing, but I would not have been working in TV. And I always thought that I was gonna be a lawyer or a doctor and that also didn't happen. So I don't know. Would you ever move to New York? I get this all the time, not just on the internet, but people in real life as well, because I am so passionate about New York. And if you've watched my New York vlogs, then you'll probably see the joy just radiating from me because I love it there so much. However, um, I wouldn't move there permanently, I don't think, because I'm super close to my family and I don't think I would leave them indefinitely but I would definitely spend around three to six months there. I was there for a month last year, this time last year, and it was incredible. I loved it so, so, so much. And I didn't really miss home that much. Sorry, mum. I didn't really miss home that much during that month, but maybe it was because I knew I was coming home. But um, I would definitely, it is the plan next year to spend between three to six months in New York living there. And I'm so excited. It's just gonna be the best time of my life. I'm so buzzing, I'm so happy. I feel like that's not in my teeth. But yeah, I don't think I would move there forever, but want to spend some time there, basically. Which is the answer that I've given you about 10 times over, but that's it. Can you tell us some of your funny date stories that you mentioned in your video with your friend? 
um, they would be referring to the video that I filmed with my BFF Ali and I think we might have mentioned that we could possibly do a separate dating stories or that we have funny stories or I have funny stories um, and yes I can but I'm gonna do a whole separate video because <laughs> <gasps> I have some funny slash ridiculous slash just silly dating stories so I'm definitely going to do that. I would definitely definitely do that video. I'm going to try and get somebody else on board that has some amazing stories because I have funny ones but I don't have like lots and lots of them but I loved watching those videos because it always made me feel less tragic and it made me feel better so yes I will definitely do that. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes I do. How did you get into TV? Do you have any tips? I thought I would ask this one. I thought I would answer this one because that is probably, apart from where do I go in New York and where do I go in London, it's probably my most asked question. Um, getting into TV is very difficult, it just is. But once you have a foot in the door, if you work hard enough and you build up enough of a good reputation, then there are so many shows to work on and you can do amazingly. Um, I personally wrote off for work experience absolutely everywhere like every single production company I could possibly find in London I would send off for work experience and I worked for working title films and I worked at Capital for a little bit doing work experience and then I finally got some work experience on this morning with Holly and Phil although Holly was on maternity leave because I feel like she spends half of her life on maternity leave um, and I was there for two weeks and somebody that I worked with there offered me one day on X Factor and then I pretty much stayed there for the next two years with a couple of shows in between. So so I would say email every production company that you can possibly find um, and if you can't find an email then or you don't know who to go for, I would, if you watch the show and you look at the credits at the end, I would find the name of the production secretary or, or the production coordinator and maybe, that sounds really bizarre to like Google their name and the company to try and find an email, but, but they will be the best people to email because generally speaking, they will be the ones looking after the applications. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. But it is a great career and you will have lots and lots of fun and you will also make lots of cups of tea and you will also probably be asked to find a bacon sandwich with crispy bits on the outside and soft on the inside on white granary bread that is made from unicorn dust. So good luck with that. <laughs> How do you make a living from blogging slash Instagram? Um, I feel like this is a whole separate video in itself. There's a few ways that you can make money in social media doing this job. For me personally, I work with a lot of brands on sponsored posts, so a brand will come to me and say, we love your channels and we'd really like to work with you, we think that this product would be a good fit. Um, and then I would decide if I do actually think it's a good fit and then we will both come up with a brief and a way of promoting that product to you guys. I'm sure that a lot of you that have followed me for a while will know that I only ever, ever, ever work with brands that I absolutely adore because otherwise it is very obvious. Um, and there are a lot of people that do it for the money, which is a shame um, and isn't great for the industry, but personally, the people that you love and the people that you trust, I imagine will be the ones that actually genuinely promote products or brands because they actually love them. So that is one way. And then you can also make money with affiliate links. So if I do a haul, generally my links will be affiliate links, um, which doesn't cost you any more. It just means that when you click through, if you buy something, a blogger or an influencer, I hate that word so, so, so much, but like, hi. That's the word I'm gonna use for bloggers, YouTubers, Instagrammers. Um, then we will make a very, very small percentage off of the back of that. So it's almost like a little thank you for giving the inspo to buy something really, but it doesn't cost you any more. It makes no difference to you, but that is a way how we can earn a little bit of extra money. There's also adverts on videos, which personally for me doesn't make me a huge amount of money, but, but if you have millions of subscribers, then that is definitely a good form um, of revenue. And also on blogs as well, you can have like banner space and you can have adverts and that's another way of doing it. Also things like um, if you are part of a campaign and your image is used on things like bus stops or billboards or something like that, then you will generally be paid for the usage or be paid for the advertising rights. So there's a lot of ways, but 
the most the most common way for me would be sponsor posts and affiliate links. I was going to make a separate video on this because I get asked it quite a lot, but I feel like I've kind of given you an in-depth enough answer, maybe. Let me know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever come across any drama in the beauty industry? Well, I mostly, I do mostly fashion and travel and also a lot of beauty as well. So I'm just gonna take that as a general thing for all of them. Yes, I haven't really been involved in any drama myself. It's absolutely not what I'm about. Like getting into confrontation makes me sweaty and anxious and nervous and I absolutely hate it. So I will not get into an argument unless I feel strongly about a point. I just hate that. Oh, it, oh, no, 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 no. Um, however, I mean, if you're on Twitter, I feel like there is always drama amongst bloggers or influencers on Twitter. There's always some kind of controversy. And it's a shame, really, because the job is so amazing. And even if it's not as a job, it's such an amazing community. Um, I, my best friend I made through blogging and my other, like, next row of, like, best friends are all through blogging. And it has brought so many opportunities and so much amazingness to my life but yeah there's definitely drama that goes on and there's definitely um some competitiveness from people and there's definitely some bitchiness and there is definitely some tactics and foul play and just kind of putting the job and careers over friendship which is not very nice but i guess when so many amazing opportunities can come off of the back of this job some people will put that first and that's a shame but I guess you will have that in any industry and I'm sorry for taking the romance out of like blogging and YouTube but yeah there can be some drums. Did you go to university and if you did what did you study? I actually didn't go to university um I, the very long and morbid story short, is that I wasn't very well through the last two years of school, so year 10 and 11, if you're in the UK, we have years 7 to 11 in senior school, um, if you are US based from when I was 15 to 16 basically, um, so I went to school for a combined total of about four weeks or something very very minimal and I taught myself, I did take GCSEs and I did get hilariously good GCSEs considering how much I didn't go to school um, but I wasn't well enough to do A levels which is why I did work experience and I went into TV because you don't actually need any qualifications and if you're going into TV and you're thinking about doing TV production I'm not saying don't do it but you definitely definitely don't need any sort of qualification to go into TV you really just need work experience and to get a foot in the door um, but no I didn't go to uni and I'm not necessarily sad that I didn't go if I did I very much doubt that I'd be doing what I'm doing now so I honestly think everything happens for a reason and tough times make you stronger there's a million Pinterest quotes that I could insert here right now but I can't think of any. Where are you from? You look very exotic which is hilarious because I'm from South East London and I am literally just English, 100% English. What fake tan do you use? Um, a mixture but the one that I have been loving most lately is the Sandra Pay, I think it's the extra dark. I put it on last night and it's really not extra dark. I wouldn't say it was darker than most other fake tans that I've used but it dries in really well I mean it does smell all fake tans unless you could recommend me one please 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 do all fake tans will end up smelling after a certain amount of hours okay and I'm gonna wrap that up here because I feel like I've answered quite a lot of questions now and I've also rambled for a thousand years I really 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 hope that the cars were not too loud but I feel like they could possibly be too loud and to wrap it up those are some FAQs and my exciting news is that I've signed for Margravine and I'm sure a lot of you that follow me on here, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen it so I'm very excited and thank you so much for your congratulations messages because there was lots of them and I'm very grateful and yeah there's a lot of exciting things coming up in the next few months and for the thousandth time of saying excited I am very excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go now because I'm just waffling. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. If you do, and if you are already subscribed, then I'll see you in my next video. Thank you again for watching. I love you all. Bye!